Here are three awesome upgrades that you can do to your desktop diode laser to make it even better to use and more convenient. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Desktop diode lasers have become so popular in the last couple years that everybody is making them. But in the race to the bottom of the price range and the race to get them out there for every brand, they're leaving out features that would make them 100 times better to use. That brings us to King Gubby Designs. They're a small two-person business that focuses on making upgrades like these for desktop diode lasers like these. They sent me three must-have upgrades for the Laser Master 3, and today we're gonna check those out. The first one is this Z-axis adjuster, and I can't tell you how much of an improvement this really is, especially on the Laser Master 3. The stock Laser Master 3 comes with this little awkward screw that you have to loosen, raise up and down the head, and then tighten. And to be honest, it's not all that accurate because it can actually move when you're tightening it. That's not awesome when you're trying to be very accurate with your burns. What the Z-axis adjuster will do is allow you to mount it to the machine and adjust it with a knob on the top, which is very accurate. All you have to do is turn to loosen and turn to tighten when it's installed. That's much better than the stock solution. The Z-axis adjuster is super easy to install. You just need to start by unplugging the top wire out of the laser module, unscrewing the side and taking the laser module out of the bracket. Now you wanna take the stock mount off of the carriage. Next, we wanna screw in the new mount using the top holes as seen in the instructions from the King Gubby Designs website. Now we want to mount the stock slider to our new slider and we do that by grabbing a couple bolts and going in through the back of the three holes that are right here. You're gonna push those in uh, just so they, they're there and they stay like that. On the flip side, they'll screw into the existing slider's top two holes. So when you're done, you'll have your two bolts on this side and it'll be screwed into the old slider here. Take the new mount with the laser module and slide it right onto the new slider. Now we wanna take the barrel nut and put it into the top hole and screw the M6 bolt into the barrel nut. Now you wanna screw this all the way down so the barrel nut goes all the way to the top of that mount. Grab the bolt clip that came with the kit, slide it over the top of the bolt, and then attach it with the two M3 bolts that came with the kit. I do need to interject real quick because mine came with this z axis knob package. That's what you saw me just install here. Normally, it would just be a regular piece here, and then you would use your Allen wrench uh, to spin it up and down like we saw a little bit ago. But this one actually came with a few different handles that we can use, and I really like this. There's uh, different handles, so if you have the opportunity, grab the z axis variety pack. I'm not sure if that comes with every kit or not, but you definitely want that because it'll make life easier when you can just pop on knobs like this and turn them. That one looks nice. I really like that one. Now slide the Ortur laser module onto the new mount and tighten up the original Ortur screw like this. Now your Z-axis kit is installed. It actually works by turning this knob up and down to raise and lower that laser module. Now the last thing we need to do after we install the Z-axis kit is actually replace the end stop with the new Z end stop spacer. This will allow the laser module not to smash into the front of the machine and you don't want that to happen. All you have to do is unscrew the limit switch right here put the spacer in and screw it right back in with the screw that came out. At this point, you just wanna move your laser module to the front right of the machine and just make sure it doesn't hit anything, but it shouldn't with that new spacer installed. That's it. Now the Z-axis kit is done and installed. This thing is much better than the stock adjustments. Again, all you have to do is turn this knob here and that'll make the module lift up and down. It is so much better than having to twist this little knob and just the fiddly module. Uh, it just, it's gonna save you a lot of time and it's gonna be way more precise. Next on the list are these stackable brick feet. They allow you to lift the laser up if you have something thick underneath that you need to burn, or maybe you wanna use that rotary with a tumbler. You'll definitely need to get that laser up off the bed to use something like that. Also, they allow you to make sure that your laser is in the same place 
every time you put it down on that spoil board. This is especially helpful if you burn a grid into your spoil board and you don't want it to be off every time you put your laser back down or if you build any kind of jigs and you just want to make sure your laser doesn't move. To install the brick feet, we need to start by taking the rubber feet off of the bottom of the machine. Now using the screws that came with the kit, we want to install the new brick feet to the bottom of the machine in all four corners. Now snap the new bottom piece onto the piece you just screwed into that machine and then place the laser on your spoil board exactly where you want it. Now you want to use a pen to draw an outline around where those feet are. Now remove the bottom of the brick feet and place them in the areas that you just drew. Grab some small wood screws and screw them down into the spoil board. And that's it. The brick feet are now installed. Yeah, this spoil board is a little bit small for the Laser Master 3. I actually stole it off my Laser Master 2 for this video. But what's really cool about this is you actually use Duplo blocks to lift the laser and set it on here. So we could take a couple, let's just say uh, two on each side, and we can sit them right down on the blocks that we just put in. Then we just take our laser, we bring our laser right over, we match up the feet, and I'm backwards. <laughs> we match up the feet like that. It'll go in, it'll go in, and your laser is set. It's all locked into place now, and it's not gonna move off of your spoil board. What's really cool is that you can use as many as these Duplo blocks as you want to lift this thing up as high as you want. Now you're ready to burn some seriously thick things with your desktop diode laser like this. Last but not least, we have the honeycomb bed mounts. Now I don't have a honeycomb bed to test with this laser. The idea is to use these to lift your honeycomb up when your laser's lifted so that your honeycomb is at the right height. This also allows you to put like a catch pan underneath your honeycomb that would catch any debris that fell through while you were cutting. Also, if you just want to keep your laser lifted all the time, you can use this to have your honeycomb lifted all the time with the laser. Then if you want to put a thick piece of material in or maybe the rotary, all you'd have to do is remove that honeycomb out and your laser is already lifted and ready to go. I think that would be really handy to use. Now you can get all three of these and much more on Amazon or on the King Gubby Designs website, but they agreed to give you guys a discount code for 15% off any of their printed parts or kits like this if you use the code HOTMAX as seen here. Or if you want it faster, you can use my link below to go straight to Amazon and that will give me a small portion of the sale. It won't charge you anymore, but it'll help the channel out as well. Either way works for me and if you don't need the parts as fast as Amazon could deliver them and you want to save some money, I say use their website and save that money. Now I think these upgrades are must-haves for this Laser Master 3 and pretty much all of the Ortur lasers. But don't forget, they make these upgrades for a bunch of different laser brands out there, so check out the website and see what they offer. If you don't see your laser on there, just reach out to them and there's a good chance they'll help you out and make these modules for your laser as well. And if you want to see more laser upgrades, check this video out right there.